Hello and welcome to the Gotham Sound coverage of AES 2023. I'm here good morning with Andrew from Deity. Good Dini. morning. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. This is a fantastic time to be in New York. Fall, the leaves are changing. Plus, we get to talk about audio all day. So, like, it's true. What it's more could I ask for in life? It is a beautiful day outside. It's it the nicest really one we've had nice. in a while. It's so nice. If you're not, you know, here, uh, at least you're watching us live. Uh, all right. So let's talk about uh, what's new. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what's coming out new now? What's coming out soon? All that good stuff. Yeah, the good, the stuff. The real reason we're here, other than the beer later. Right off the top, here's some information we can finally share with you guys. This is in the warehouses in Europe. This is shipping throughout Asia already. And this is currently sitting at the dock in Los Angeles. So we are mere weeks away here in Los Angeles, or in the you know, North America area. Europe, you guys are days away. And throughout Asia, it's going to be whenever stuff is landing at your local port in your local country. So this stuff, literally days for most people around the world, and maybe just a week or two, depending on what gets released out of the ports of LA. And, and to be clear, when he says this, this is the new Thea system. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's a dual channel wireless receiver, two transmitters sold in a kit, with lavs and antennas. With lavs, 12 antennas, all the cables you need for XLR. It also comes with your cold shoe mount to go into a small body camera or a big body camera. And those XLRs are right angle. So we include all the accessories that you guys probably were going to have to purchase anyway. We got it all in a single kit. And it's been pre-ordered at Gotham for about a couple of months now. So as that's rolling out, people who are on the pre-order list will get it first. And we'll hopefully get everyone taken care of by the end of the year as stuff rolls out of our own factory. And it's for what it does, it's it's an incredible value. Thank I mean, you. I think th Thank you. That can be said about all of the Deity products uh, that have come out in the last couple of years. It's like they're well made. We, they're at a good price point. Yeah, we took the, the pandemic as an opportunity to uh, reevaluate what we were making, re-listen to the customers' needs. Uh, and really try to tailor everything into products that people have always wanted and dreamed of. And I went back to my own list of items that I've always wanted and mm -hmm. had and said, we're going to put a little bit of that also in here as well. So we're really trying to retool and re-listen to the actual customers. The folks that are on this live stream, your questions are what drive our product kind of development. Oh, that's awesome. So um, check out other videos that we have for more details about the Theos. Um, and the uh, other big announcement mm -hmm. is the PR2. We were talking right. about this beforehand. Mm -hmm. We know the number one question people are going to be asking is when and price. Uh, for when, we're going to be going into production in about six weeks. That was a week and a half ago, I think. So, you know, I think four and a half now. We are trying to aim for a this year shipping date for the PR2. So hopefully we can get everything up and running. And again, we'll open pre-orders as soon as we can. And if, again, things sell out real quick, things start shipping, you'll be on the first on the list. So you're going to want to be checking out the Gotham website for all of that. I appreciate that. Uh, so let's talk about upcoming things that, that we don't know about already. And yeah. I think we actually do know about this. So this looks a lot like the Theos, but it's so, the Theos. Right. So this is the DLTX, mm -hmm. so our digital Limo transmitter. This is a three-pin Limo. It offers 48 volts phantom. It also has haptic feedback. It also has a balanced mic preamplifier. So we retooled the preamp just a touch mm -hmm. to give it a balanced input. So you're allowed to do things like run full-on XLR balanced signals into it and preserve that audio quality mm -hmm. if that's what you're trying to do on a long run. Uh, of course, it does do the Phantom, and it will be shipping with a boom pole mount. So when you put it on a boom pole, this acts as your plug-on or as your lob, and it's going to be one of your most versatile transmitters out there. And will it come with the input cable as well? It will come with the input cable. That's and great. in terms of what the Phantom input is, we're actually trying to make it so that it's a switching capacitor so that it will determine if you need something like a Z cable mm -hmm. or if you need an A cable, depending on what you may already own. Mm. So you'll just choose what mode you want your Phantom to be delivered in. Cool. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. So just a comment that came in. Kyle Sherling says, uh, nice wireless boom, and also says, uh, thank you for going type C. It's been a big issue while traveling. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we felt was what you guys asked for and what we wanted to deliver. Also, speaking of uh, for the boom, I forgot the one extra little feature that we're going to be doing. Because this is the three-pin Limo, more professional 
transmitter. Uh, we're also unlocking that 19 megahertz at the very, very top, oh. the 941 band. Uh -huh. For all those out there that have the FCC license, this one's going to actually allow you to use those licensed bands. Got it. So, so it'll have just a little bit more spectrum than this one uh, uh, has. Yeah, then we're there. Great. Okay. Uh, so, uh, more new stuff. Uh, prototypes coming prototypes, down the line. Yeah. So I guess let's just work this way and up. Yeah, so this is the DQC2. Mm -hmm. This is the big brother to the DQC1, uh, one of our hottest selling products of the year, mm -hmm. which is a tiny little module that allows for USB-C to smart battery charger. It's got a couple of LEDs. We built it all out into a more docking type chassis for tabletops or on a shelf. Mm -hmm. So if you're a rental facility, if you are setting up for a reality show and you're doing more of a built in where we have a base of operations that we meet at in the morning, you can set up a charging station like mm -hmm. this. What's really cool about it is it does indeed dock together using pogo pins. The final model does have a little toggle switch right here for locking the two units together so they don't come unclipped. The reason why you want to dock it though is it's got dual USB-C, 50 watts each, up to 100 watts, and then it cascades that power into the connectors on the one that you've docked. You can uh, dock up to three units together mm -hmm. and share power across all of your units. You can do two batteries at the same time. And of course, we have the 5-volt 2A port. Mm. So if you want to do, say, your TC1s, you can plug in that triple-headed USB to charge all three TC1s at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make a solution that grows with you. And there may be potentially new systems coming down the market that may support other battery types or other units. You can just add those to your system as well. So potentially you have, by buying three of these units, you have a all-in-one six-bank charger that if you wanted to you know, take one with you in a bag, yeah. just tear it out, bring a little USB charger, and you've got something portable. Right, and of course we went with the USB model, uh, USB-C, to be mm -hmm. clear, and that is because everything you're probably traveling with now takes that, the laptop you're traveling with, the phone you now have, the new iPhone, everything is USB-C, and we wanted to make it so that the documentary and the reality TV folks uh, and even the corporate video folks are having to travel for work, don't have to take all this extra luggage with them for what essentially is doing the same job as some of the other items they're already carrying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, make it simpler, easier, and lighter for everyone. Yeah, and that's something we're seeing with your SPD-1 as well, the USB outputs there. Right. Super helpful with so many products now having that yeah. USB on their side. I mean, you know, I'm going to say a couple of other brands because they do exist. We're <laughs> not going to act like we're the only one in town, but the new Sony uh, receivers also mm -hmm. are USB-C. Yep. So when we have something like the SPD-HR3U, which is our triple-headed USB uh, Hirose compatible cable. I'm actually running one right now into this TC1, and I've actually got a couple rigged up into our bag. So these two receivers and this TC1 are all running on one cable going into uh, our four pin push power cable uh, port on the SPD1. So we make kind of ex you know accessories that really highlight what we feel is the new connector for most devices. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so this looks a lot like uh, something <laughs> we've seen before, but tell me more about it. So this is the s Mic 3. We showed it off at IBC. It's part of our new 3 Series family. Uh, so we have the s Mic 3, the 3S, which is our little short guy, the 3H, which is our hypercardioid, and the 3C, which is going to be a mm -hmm. cardioid. What makes the s Mic 2 are, you know, different than this one it was the weight and the finish on the actual body. A lot of people like the sound quality of the s Mic 2. They like the pickup, the little bit wider cone that it offers. So it's a little bit more forgiving for folks who are having to do comedy, improv, or reality because you don't know who's going to talk next. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of cue it in the middle without too much coloration. What a lot of people didn't like, though, was the weight. Mm -hmm. So the s Mic 3 has 66% less weight than the original two. Got it, very cool. And, and it's gonna match also with the finish and everything of the other three parts of the family. Mm -hmm. So essentially the same inside, but the outside has been redesigned to make right. it lighter. You can think of the full size one more as a refresh mm -hmm. than a next gen. What makes it another family series for us though, that needs a full number update, is the fact that there's those other options in mm -hmm. the family that should help make it feel more like a cohesive ecosystem, you know? We wanted to do a hypercardioid. We wanted to do a cardioid for so long, but we felt like we also needed to update 
the, mm -hmm. the, the weight issue that a lot of people asked for. So in terms of the update, uh, you know, what can we expect for pricing when it's released? We are trying to mirror the exact same price that everything has been so far without a, doing a price increase. Mm -hmm. We want to kind of make it so that it's easy for the customer to get into it still. So we're still looking at like that 359 price point. Uh, and for the 3S, we're trying to keep that same 319 kind of price point as well. Nice. And then, of course, the little short ones, the hypercardioid and the cardioid, which are really only about that big. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're incredibly small. Uh, we want to make those even more affordable. Go for those indie filmmakers out there that are just starting out their career who have never owned a hypercardioid before. Got it. Um, and uh, just to circle back, what's the release potential release date on this and release date on this? So this one, we're looking at a Q1 2024. Mm -hmm. As for this, there's zero timeline. Okay. Uh, the reason for that is we're going to do a ton of beta testing, make sure we've dialed in everything, mm -hmm. handling noise, dampening, all that kind of stuff, sound quality, because we're trying to do it across four mics now. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into a lot of beta testing, because mm -hmm. we know an XLR mic is one of those items that, like, I can't just put this out and in two years come out with a refresh. Right. We launched the S-Mic 2 five years ago, and we're still kind of like hesitant to want to just replace it mm -hmm. outright because if you've invested in an XLR mic, you expect to have longevity. Yeah. So we want to make sure it's right the first time without having to go like, oh, here's a, an S-Mic 3A. Right. <laughs> right. Like <laughs> right. We don't want to do a quick revision right. on you guys. There's no firmware updates for us to push. Mm -hmm. We got to get it right. So yeah. there's no timeline, no rush. It's going to take its time, and when it's ready, it'll be ready. So this, uh, that question came from Kyle, uh, wanting to know about the release date for this. So Kyle, it's, it's uh, early Q1, next year, yeah. Q1. Yeah, and Q1. Uh, he also wanted to know, does it come with a power cable? You know, does it come it's with not going to come with a power cable. Uh, one of the reasons is a lot of different countries have different plugs, as well as you may have different power needs. You may want to go full 100 watts by 250 watt mm -hmm. USB-C chargers. Other folks who want to do more of a trickle charge may only get a 20 watt and only plug one in. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of also a way for the user out there to determine, are you doing a trickle slow charge, or do you want to speed charge your batteries? I'm going to leave all that up to the user. Plus, those things are such a commodity item that they go on discount all the time. Yeah. If you buy it today, I can guarantee you it's going to be cheaper in six months. Uh -huh. So like, if I package one in, you're going to get a bad deal eventually from us. <laughs> right. And do you do USB-C to USB-C, or do USB you do type it to A? a or it's yeah. Like, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in there. And uh -huh. then you just throw in the power connectors for different countries. It's easier for you guys to source that in your individual countries mm -hmm. than me to ship it and then charge you for it. Right. Uh, and pricing, obviously, this is months away. So we'll say, say it's TBD for right yeah, now. Yeah, TBD. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, w when you guys, again, when we know, we'll release and the pre-orders will go out. And you got to get on that list. There you go. All right. So last but not least, uh, the, the butterfly. The DD butterfly. Uh -huh. So this is our idea of that classic ultra wideband kind of dipole kind of antenna. Mm -hmm. uh, it is starting at 470, mm -hmm. goes to one gigahertz. Mm -hmm. The idea here is even though we don't go to 470 with our wireless, we know a lot of you folks out there may just be interested in a really nice butterfly mm -hmm. that goes above 700. Mm -hmm. A lot of these newer systems from different brands do, so we wanted to give that to you guys. So all the way up to one gigahertz. We found most systems don't go over one gigahertz, and most operators don't want to go over 960 anyway. Mm -hmm. So there it is. It's what it is. It's going to come with a clamp as well as cables. I think the cable is like 30 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go from BNC to SMA. Uh, and then, of course, the clamp is going to be a classic kind of little crab clamp. So you can clamp it anywhere on your bag. Great. All right. Perfect. And uh, timeline on this? Uh, as quick as possible. I know uh -huh. we just placed an order uh, with the factory to get a bunch in as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. I think the lead time is about four weeks, so okay. we should hopefully be getting it by the end of this year if everything goes well. Got it. And is there pricing for it? No pricing yet, yet. Mm -hmm. but it's one of those, uh, it's deity. So it's going to be a, it's gonna be, a good uh, value. A good value. Yeah. Got it. Great. <laughs> uh, well, listen, I want to uh, just say one more time, if anybody has any questions or comments, please leave them in the chat, but we're going to wrap it up soon. Yeah. Um, Andrew, I really appreciate you being here and taking the time, but also I appreciate how responsive you are to us as vendors. Uh, like we get emails personally from you, yep. and I know you're also really responsive to uh, to DD customers. No, so of I course. just want to acknowledge the customer service that this man personally provides. Well, I know what it's like when I spent my money buying my first bag and how much of a 
you know, I've got to save. I've got to buy my first wireless. This was used wireless I was buying from a dealer. So I wanted to, you know, make sure there was someone backing me. And that's that's what's great about dealer support. And I want to just deliver the same thing, mm -hmm. you know, to folks because I know, you know, it, it's it's rough out there. This year has been rough for everyone, and everyone's coming back into a world where we just want to get back to work. Yeah. And for a lot of folks, upgrading their equipment is not the first thing on their minds. Yeah. So we want to offer more than just gear for that value. Yeah. Got it. All right. Awesome. Andrew, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more live coverage from AES New York 2023.